Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. When you're tuned in, you're with Lady Business and Give It to the People Radio, where you're going to get enlightened, enhanced, empowered, and enriched. Make sure that you always tune in to Give It to the People Radio. Everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're watching, it's Give It to the People Live. I'm Chisa Penix Brown. <laughs> I'm giving you my like super newscaster thing this evening because I'm in such a good mood. I'm out here giving you all the hair colors, honey. And I have a great guest on this that will be on this evening. And so I'm waiting for Erica Hendricks to show up. She'll be on here shortly, but in the beginning, I like to give you, um, oh goodness, a couple of house rules. Hold on for a second. Number one, this is Tammy. Tammy Faye, Tambourine Brown. Whenever people say something really good, then I go ahead and I use Tammy so that this way we can illustrate that point and we can just let them know that that was some really good stuff that people said. In addition to that, um, Give It to the People Live is really about highlighting people and creating community. It is about showcasing women-owned businesses, black-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses, and nonprofits, um, which could be anywhere. Thus far, we've only done the U.S., but that doesn't mean that we will just stay in the U.S. Um, and so we give this platform to people so that this way they have a place to be able to tell others about their business, okay? Now, I should have a request to join sometime soon, waiting for her to come up. But in the meantime, I'd like to welcome everyone everybody out this evening and if you are watching on the replay please go ahead and share it because by the time that we get to the replay it should also be inside of our Instagram stories and that'll be really marvelous for people to be able to see more so when you share then people can see so if you can take the time now if you're watching us live and go ahead and share and invite some friends tag them inside the comments so that this way they know to come over and they know to watch that would be really awesome okay hold up I'm clicking the thing all right I see lady E is here so let me go in and she should be doing a request to join shortly so lady e once you get up there we'll do that request to jump now i have so many different questions this evening so um you're gonna learn a whole lot and i did put out earlier that you always have to have those extra comments for somebody who's in the back of the room so i know she's gonna give us all of that this evening <laughs> how are you i'm doing good how you know it's been a long time I know it's been such a long time. I did see your brother like, oh God, I don't know, earlier this year. So I can't yeah, even I tell did. you when that was. <laughs> it was your brother and your niece. We um, went out to eat and um, we saw them and he was telling us just how well the other business is doing because I was asking him like, how was it affected by COVID? Um, and he was kind of giving us a little bit of that information. He was just like, look, business has been booming since COVID. So that made me really happy to hear that. Um, hold up. I see that you're spiraling a little bit. I see you You might not be able to hear me or you might be able to hear me, but I can't hear you right now. Okay, there it is. Let's go back in. All right. She should be coming back in because we had a slight little issue. So once she gets back. In, okay. Okay. There we, there we go. Oh, all right. I don't know if you heard me, but I was saying when I saw your brother and your niece and I was asking him, look, how has things been since COVID? He was just telling me, look, COVID, everything was fine. He was like, the business actually grew during COVID. It so did. I thought that was really amazing. It did. It did. It did. The first, well, when the COVID first hit, those first three months, after, it was dead. And then okay. B Doc from 107, was it 97.1? He uh -huh. came and got a smoothie. He shouted us out. And all of a sudden, um, people came from everywhere. Like, I mean, they just, all of a sudden, people came from everywhere. And so that did really well. Just just one one personality. Like, you coming in doing a shout out. Mm -hmm. Everybody that you follow came to the show. So we That's got amazing. really, people came from the outside. It wasn't people there in the building. It was people from the outside. Yeah. 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 That's how it does. Yeah. That is super important, right? Because I think that when we build this community and we talk about just sharing businesses, which is what we do here, yes. that it's such an important thing to just tell people hello, tell people, you know, come see me, tell people I'm open. And so that's what we do here. So tell them about you, Erica, because um, I feel like we've been knowing each other for, I don't know, maybe oh. seven years I was thinking 10, but it may be. It, it may might be. be 10, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But I know it's at least seven. So it's a long time, though, it's right? It's a long time, yeah. Okay, <laughs> tell me about you, though. Well, I wear many hats, y'all. I am um, 
Let me see. Let me first. The first thing, though, I am the CEO of Lady Index. So this is Lady E. I went to an event Saturday, so I, we don't have to wear a mask. Uh -huh. So they kept asking who is Lady E. So I had to put my mask down so they could see who I was. I'm the same person on this on this billboard. Um, but I am. I launched my air eyewear in February of this year. Okay. Um, so that's been a great success, but we'll get more into that. Um, I'm in the mental health field. Um, we're part, we have a partnership with um, Cafe Revolution slash Wild Water Drink. Uh, mm -hmm. so they're in that, in that business um, doing our, just doing our thing, smoothies, coffee, grab and go lunches. Uh, we do that Monday through Friday. And I'm in the mental health field. So I do all kinds of stuff. So I'm all over the place, but I love what I do. So mm -hmm. I think if I just did one thing, I'd probably get bored with that. So yeah. I, have, I have to do multiple things to keep my interest going, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me things. see if you have this or that, right? Yes. So when yes. I put down that you are a multipreneur, I need people to understand that it can be done yes. and it can be done successfully. And I think that you are one of those people that exude that. So it's funny because today we're out to lunch, me and Mr. Brown, and and I'm having a conversation. I told him, I said, you know, as we keep progressing with this, I'm realizing that there are things that I need. And he's like, uh-oh, what's that going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something about it. Look, well, one of the things, I, I didn't even say money, though. Actually, okay. that was what I said. I mean, I, I mean, it, it ended up where it got to more money at the end. Like, if yes. we do these things, it can make more money. So it yes. did end up there. But the one thing that I told him, I said, look, I've realized... I have to have something to do all the time. I do not work well when I have like loads and loads and loads of downtime. Like even yes. if it's something, I have to have something to do every day so that this way it keeps me busy. It keeps my mind sharp. It yes. keeps me in motion. And yeah. if I don't have something to do, I don't, I don't know. So I'm like, look, it's certain things that I know where people are like, okay, I want to retire. I understand that. Yeah. But after a while, <laughs> Yeah. How many days? How many days is retirement? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna need something to do with need that retirement. Yes, so, need something yeah, to do. You feel me? Exactly. So, um, talk to them. Do you want to do Lady East Specs first, or do you want to talk to them about a little bit of the family business or the mental health? Let's 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 do the family business, and then we're going to Lady East Specs. Okay, which is okay. this is what we met in the first place. So exactly. We have, I am always amazed, astounded, and really proud, okay, mm -hmm. of what your family has been able to do. Mm -hmm. And it's because I have a family that is nowhere near the level of functional <laughs> that it would need to be <laughs> to run a family business. <gasps> I probably run some stuff with one person, which would be my brother, mm -hmm. um, but everybody else just trash. I mean, and I mean, <laughs> I mean that in the most respectful, disrespectful way. I got you. Yeah, I got you. So your family, you a twin. I mean, your mother, your father, like everybody. I, just the amazement of that right there. You being able to have a family business and it's the whole family is amazing to me. So now tell them how you got started. Well, what's, what's amazing though, y'all, let me say this on the front end. Now we do have fallen out. Um, uh -huh. We do have, when we, whenever we have our meetings, you know, it's like, let's ready to rumble. But at the end of the day, it, it boils down, what can we do to make this business grow? You know, uh -huh. we have our moments. Uh, but we started our Wild Water Drink in 2010. Uh -huh. And we started, we had been talking about doing something for a &T's Homecoming for a couple of years. Never did anything. This was with, with my extended family. Everybody uh -huh. kept saying, let's do it, do it, do it. So... One year, me and Kim said, we're just going to submit an application and just go ahead and do it. Because they keep saying, we're going to do it, we're going to go ahead and submit it. I submitted it to the city of Greensboro, and i never forget. The guy says, well, I'm going to let you in. But he said, I don't think you all going to really make any money just selling teas and lemonades. Mm -hmm. But I am motivated when you tell me no. I'm motivated when you say, I don't think it's going to work out. Yeah, I said, tell me. I'm motivated by that. So yeah. I said, what? I said, we're going to prove him wrong. Uh -huh. Make a long story short, for the three days we did Auntie's Homecoming, we made $5,000 for three days. Five and three. That's eight. Yeah. Uh -huh. all, all the weekend. And just sell. So I took great joy in calling him on that Monday morning mm -hmm. to let him know 
Uh, not only did we do well, uh, we made X, Y, Z, and we're going to come back and do it again. Come and, on. Um, and so for a long time, he would always come back there. Y'all go again. That's what I'm saying to him. I say, hey, I'm back here on the scene. Um, and so we started it in 2010. We just did events around uh -huh. the city. We traveled around different states. And I want to say it was a 2018 or 17, we went into Revolution Meal. Uh -huh. And we went in over there in partnership. Um, we worked with another uh, uh company who's no longer in business and i never forget you came to visit us and you said to us what did i tell you tell me what said I she, she said y'all listen people listen she said y'all gonna end up having all of this y'all gonna end up having all of this and it wasn't until like a couple of months after that that it is we end up getting all this and they said well do y'all want to stay i said well most definitely we're going to stay mm -hmm. and so um it was kind of rough because when they came around and saw us, and all they saw was black faces, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the you know they got. But when they realized, oh no, they're really about business. Like they're really doing. Like we had, we we went and bought everything we needed to the, the, the square, the cash register. We wouldn't, you know, fill out no little slip. We were doing everything the right way. We upgraded yeah. everything. You know, we got uh -huh. new equipment in there. We did everything to make it presentable because we want to keep our name. We we, we have had a good name in the city as yes. a race of wild water drink. So they know us. And then my silly brothers, they make those videos. I told them that they need to keep making those videos because they get a two to 3,000 views off of those videos. I'm mm -hmm. trying to get them to start a YouTube channel with just the coffee guys. And so yeah. I told you, yes, y'all need to do something which was to bring people in. So that's pretty much how it kind of got started. We went to brick and mortar. Um, and it's, it has its lows, ups, and its downs. Um, but our next phase is to go into a food truck. That's our next phase. Our Come next on. phase is, is to go into doing that. Um, and we realized we can do well with that because at, at, at most of the homecomings HBCUs, we would cook and sell our drinks. Mm -hmm. So we got to the point now inside the building there, we get we cater a lot of lunches and breakfasts. Okay. So when they, had, when they had people come in from out or whatever, um, when Market America, i never forget, they didn't have it last year in 2019, a group from Market America came there to the building. And uh -huh. so we so we catered their whole thing for them. And so a lot of people realized that they would tell somebody, somebody else would tell somebody. So then we started getting catered meetings right in the building. So we didn't have to leave to do that. Uh -huh. And so we kind of, from that, just kind of grew and uh, brainstorm. Um, and so it's just been one thing after the next. So last year was really like the first year we didn't have anything to do. And we really thought, like, hey, this thing might fold up. Like it may, yeah. And then we ended up getting money from Piedmont Biz. And we ended up getting some money here from the grant that they had in Gifford County. We ended up getting money to help us. We purchased new equipment that we needed. Just do some things in the shop that we needed to do. And so um, we kept afloat for the summertime. That summer was really good. And then when we got around October, we thought people were coming back in the building. They didn't. So we cut our hours back. So, we okay. so now we're back to increasing and we have now obtained our ABC license. Um, so we, we have the, we have our license now. Yes. Listen, we move, we move from temporary to we move from we move from temporary to permanent status now. Uh-huh. So we got okay. it. Hold up. <laughs> you just gave me we could just end this interview right now. We ain't even got to talk. No, we'll be <laughs> but let me yes. tell you. This. Okay. So when we met, I guess like maybe two years ago, or two, whenever we had that meeting, yes, you, yes. You, you were going to get the whole space, okay? Because everybody knows I love to prophesy on some stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> and I also told you at that meeting that you guys could be event focused, but bring people to you. And then that's one of the things that you did as well. Yes. So I love it when people listen. I love it not only when they listen, when they execute. Yes. And then the other thing that you mentioned is being in position. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you were in position and people said, do you do, can you do, you were there yes. and able to do that. All right. That's right. Yeah. And in addition to that, when things weren't a certain way, I know for a fact, she was sending emails. Whenever I saw something, I would send it to you. Yes. And I'm like, yes. because there's money out here, go get the money. And it's a lot of people that didn't go get that money. I sent emails to a bunch of people. I yes. can't tell you who got money. Well, I know I can tell you who got money because they sent me something back. Yes. But who didn't get money is the people yeah. that didn't act on it. That's right. That's so right. when I'm listening to this and then, you know what? So for people that don't know, the last event, <laughs> the last big event that I did that was more women-centric, Black people-centric yes. um, was the Glow Get It Festival. Okay. Yes. Yes. Which was amazing. Just yes. FYI, y'all weren't there. Yes. And 
we took up all the Revolution Mill on that end. You sure and did. we were able to be able to work with you guys to have extra space for people to sit um, and then for people to buy drinks and for yes. people to recognize your business. And so that was wonderful. But at that time, you didn't have the alcohol license. And we had one of my friends, which is um, Oak City Bubbly, come and do the alcohol. Yes. And I knew then, if you guys could do alcohol with the types of events that you were doing, that that yes. would be something that would blow up because yes. people will drink. You know what I'm they saying? Will. They will. Yeah, they will. You telling me this, and then you took your money and bought new equipment and did all the things. Yes. Do you know how yes. many people is, is, is in problems with the PPPs right now? <laughs> Girl, I, I, I bet some, some yes. wish they didn't pay me. Yes. This right here is an entire story of staying focused and staying the course yes. and doing what was necessary to grow this business. I love it. And you know, and you know, the thing about it is, is when you're doing ring, the ring, the thing about it is, is when we first met that first, um, one of the things y'all would have in January, I think what you call the small business. So we, yes. We set, we, yes. So we sat in that class and we took notes and we looked at everything we got together. And I said, yeah, we can do this. Um, and so we started putting our hands. And so we listened. So when it, whenever we were able to get into a class or something you was having, we took those little nuggets, we execute and do that. Because we really know this was not our territory. So uh -huh. I tell people, if that's not your lane, connect with people whose lane that, that, that is. That's your lane. Your lane is to move people, brand people, get people on the right track, put us in the right direction. That's what you did. And we follow the instructions. I tell people, I can follow the instructions as well. If you yes. tell me where to go, I will go and get whatever I need to get. But just tell them where it is. And you yes. can send us emails and messages. And I, we went after it. And so yes. um, that's why I think that 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 well, many people really are not so successful because they don't want to listen. You know, listen is one of the things that when you don't want to listen, and especially for somebody who uh, has already done it, listen to the people. Listen to the people. Mm -hmm. That's what makes you successful. Because listen, yeah. I'm reading the book right now, y'all. Um, it's the book is saying leading something you did not start. Mm. Y'all, it's a great book. Okay. So, we never started. Um, uh, a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. It was already there. Yeah. So the other co other company was already there. So when we came in, that was new to us because we were always on the outside. So mm -hmm. so we, our mind was, how are we going to lead in a brick and mortar? And we were told what we, we were not going to be successful inside of a inside of a building. You know, y'all need to stay outside. And so we realized, no, we can do both. You mm -hmm. know, you just got to kind of work it and have both sides going. And so mm -hmm. we did that. And that, you know, was really successful. And I think if people just learn the gift of listening and taking the advice that is given, I mean, you can be so successful. I mean, I'm telling you, we use, we use everything, y'all, that she told us to do. We did it. And that's why we're working <laughs> now. That's why we're successful. We did what she said. So if she got yeah. any classes, y'all need to go follow her and join her class. I'm telling you. Listen, it's your life. I do a whole testimony. You know, I'm going to chop this up and this is going to be in a testimony because I, I really, I try to tell people all the time. One thing, and, and people always tell me this, that sometimes I might give them so much information that it may be overwhelming, but I get genuinely excited when a person tells me what they want to do. And then I can think of like 10 different ways that they could do it or how they can execute something. And I also like to give people things that I know they're not ready for yet. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. I think that if you do that, then it sets them up for success because they can plan, they mm -hmm. can prep, they can then start to do the activities to get them to where that level of success yes. was. And yes. you know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. When you started, you know, I'm not going to say there wasn't a reason for a liquor license, but as yes. things progress, yes. that liquor license by itself is going to pay for itself in probably whatever your first book it is. You know what I'm saying? When you exactly. get yes, yes. And let me and let me tell y'all so that y'all would know we're working on the list of this. So this is phase two of this thing. Listen, y'all, listen. So we're getting ready to migrate and open up. You know how you go in the airport and you go into the store, the convenience store. So one uh -huh. of the prices of um, the, the blueprints are being drawn up. We're going to turn that whole area into a like a high-class convenience store like you would find in an airport. They will sell uh -huh. little gift stuff, little gift items. So they're going to do that whole area there for us. And guess what? It ain't coming out of our pockets. We don't have to pay for it. Come on, 
on, Jesus. Yeah, got my boy. Come on, y'all better keep the, them blessed. Exactly, because the residents inside the building said we Wanted. have to run out and buy, we have to go all the way to Aubrey's around the corner. Mm-hmm. We can come down here and buy some mocha, come down here and buy some asthma, or we can get a dip bag. So then we're going to, they're going to get us a wine cooler so that we can sell bottles of wine. They can pick up a little gift. So we're in the process of doing this. We hope to launch it by October. So I'm telling you, we, this is, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be open before the end of the year. And oh so wow! We're catering to kind of bring everything so that the residents have something to come to, which can make us stay up longer, longer. We got our license now; it's permanent, so we can do things on Fridays or Saturdays and have oh, my God. So now, I mean, we're branching into something much bigger. So it's just it's growing, and um, because they asked that they asked us the question, do y'all see see yourself being able to stay in this build, building? I said the only way I can see us staying in the building, we have to do something else. Yeah, because just by itself, what we're doing, it, it's it, it, we we were breaking even. We need okay. something else to do, and so okay. when we we presented the idea to them, they thought it was great. They yeah, get the drawings, get blueprint, they give it to them, and they're gonna do it for us. But not only that, I mean, just the convenience of being able to walk downstairs around a, a hall or something, yes. and it's wintertime, and not yes. have to literally go out of the building, like, that convenience is worth paying for. Yes. Um, and, you know, that's definitely one of the things that I think about when you're talking about being able to expand, mm-hmm. but you're also expanding without having to do too much extra so you okay. already have and then it's just the vision just got bigger you know what i mean right. yeah. at first you weren't thinking about that but then you're able to say okay well look we can do this and in order for us to be able to be more sustainable we need to do something extra and that's exactly. amazing for you to be able to do that in that same space and not yes. have to actually spend some more money because it's a convenience thing. So I think that's marvelous. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be over there real soon because I already know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Yeah. Okay. So let me explain something to you. Okay. This is just for everybody, but I'm going to throw this in there. So when me and Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown and I, however you want to say it, decided, okay, we're going to do this business together. You know, we had to really look at our skill sets and uh-huh. say, okay, what's the best of me and what's the best of you? Yeah. And so Everything that you just said, the large scale events, I get so much life and energy from them. You know what I'm saying? So like when we did the small business summit last year and I was able to take over and have full creative control, we had the most amount of people we've ever had. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? We had the the most best reviews that they've ever had in all of these years of doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I love doing that. But the other side of that is the exact opposite. I like doing micro gathering type events Mm -hmm. where people can really actually get together and talk. And I know you've been to some of the networking events, y'all drinks and stuff. I love doing those because to me, that's how you make those connections and you build that relationship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Mm -hmm. the big things are just too much to build. Yeah. Um, if you get too many people, but mm-hmm. you know, with us doing this and saying, okay, well, what we're going to do is do give it to the people and we're going to make the give it to the people small business summit. Let's take the best of the things that we know that we do mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. and put that together. And, you know, Mr. Brown, he's the super supporter. He's going to make sure, you know, the yes. logistics, thing, yes. you, know, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. you know, and so when we put it together, it was just like, this is something that we think will be really well and something that can be replicated, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's the same thing that you're saying to me where you're talking about you're growing yes. but you're also not having to really go too far out of what you know That's to build right. your business because you're just using the same skills that you had but you're now listening to the people and serving that specific market and that's exactly what we're doing too so the exactly. parallels there to me are like yes like mm-hmm. we can be bigger and still be small you know what that- I mean I got you. I got you. So we did a sip and paint uh, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And it's the first one we were able to do since the pandemic. And we had a nice little crowd of people enjoyed it. Some of the residents come. And so now that they know, they've been really pushing. And this is the thing that I think has been helpful for us. Prior to 2020, they were not really pushing us. We, we, were, mm-hmm. we were really doing our own advertising. I know. But as they moved people in, yeah. As they uh-huh. have moved people in the building, the residents have been saying to them, we need something at the in this building. Like there's nothing here. Like I can't get, I can't pick something up and, and, I, and um, I have to get in my car and drive. 
or mm -hmm. I can go or we because I mean, pretty much cow was had, had shut down for a while. Beard and uh -huh. shut down. So they were they had closed down completely until because they just didn't have anybody coming. They're yeah. slowly but surely opening back up. Uh -huh. but, um so we, we needed something that we could cater to those in that in that community so they yeah. didn't have to go back out because one thing we're learning if you are if your customer service is great and it's excellent. Mm -hmm. They will tell somebody on the outside to come into your business. And yes. that's the thing I think that drew us to uh, Revolution Mill because one of the guys, Urban Grounders, he said, I watched you all at, out, at an outdoor event. He said, mm -hmm. I watched how you all interact. I watched how you all took pride in what you did. Mm -hmm. so he brought us along. He said, I think I'll be great for this space. Mm -hmm. Lord, we didn't know what God was going to do with all of that, you know. Kept multiplying. So, yeah, multiplying. So we ended up getting the whole space. And mm -hmm. um, and so it's just one of those things that you have to have that perseverance, you know, that never give up spirit. I think I think most people give up too soon, too quick, too soon to mm -hmm. see the end, you know, because in the middle, you got to work a little bit. You got to put some grind in there, you know, you got to put some grind in there to get to get it going. And mm -hmm. um, sometimes, so like I said, we've been doing it now since 2010. Uh, we're ready this year. We're, we're, our goal is to have them bottled, our drinks bottled for while we're drinking by the end of the year. So we're working okay. to get them bottled. And uh, we, we've been working with um, a company on flavor enhancements for all natural drinks. Uh, uh -huh. so we're working with that, doing that. So we're ready to want to get it, get that bottle. Uh, but I'll be talking to you at, uh, in, on another level. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, yeah. if I I usually wait to the end to prophesy, but I know <laughs> that for me, when I'm looking at it, I, I definitely want to see y'all on the shelf. I, I really yes. want to see y'all in somebody's store um, because I feel like that to me is the next level. And let's just say this: even if it's not in a store. In an easy to order and get it shipped to you method. Yes. I see either one of those things being really great because yes. um, you know that's something that I would I would definitely do because I have never tasted a flavor that I didn't like. I mean, yeah. from y'all, so, you know, and then just just the good. To me, I love a good drink. I mean, if you can make up a good drink, and I would imagine people that drink alcohol now, if you could drop a little something in that too, yes. I'm telling you, levels will probably go up. But just <laughs> me, a person that doesn't drink, yes. every it's that, you know, yeah. it just, it just yeah. get on your tongue and it sits right with your spirit. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's it does, the, right? It's good to the palate. You know, it tastes really yeah. good. Yeah, you know, it's good to like, yes, good taste, yeah. You got to make a decision on what you need to eat with that because it's just like, it just yes. tastes good. And then it's like, balance it out. Go find a piece of food to go with it. But yes, exactly. if you just, just yeah. drink. Yes. yes, 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 yes. And it's, so, it's just one of those things. We love to do it. Uh, we did an event this past weekend in Raleigh. Uh, oh. That was the uh, Our Stop Shop uh, with Black vendors. They had over like 200 vendors. Oh, okay. uh, we there. I was there with my eyewear and we, we, we were doing while we were drinking. The guy outside, they had, he said, man, what are y'all doing? How do people keep coming back? Like the guy was selling Italian ice oh. beside us, but he said, what are y'all doing? He uh -huh. said it's the taste. So my brother gave him so he's like, wow. And then what? my brother said, my brother said, look at the tablecloth. He said, oh no, I never look at that. Why I want to drink. And uh -huh. he said, man, y'all got a product and the people keep coming back for it. And mm -hmm. the thing about it is, at first, we were kind of afraid of pricing. Mm -hmm. You know, people, because you know, people say, oh, it's too high. But we have to think about all that we put into that drink. Yes, you know, we use, it's an all natural drink. It's no powder. It's no additives. We have to, we literally squeeze lemons. We literally, you know, do all that to get those drinks prepared. Yes, so it takes time, and everything don't went up. So we, mm -hmm. gotta, in order for us to see profit, we got to go up. But I think our our steady base didn't have a problem with that. Yeah, they no, up. they don't keep they, they don't keep coming back because they know the product. But you know what? This is the difference. Um, Sometimes it's in the wording, but sometimes it's in the location too. I yes. think that people at like food truck festivals and things like that expect to pay more. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, when I like something, I'm going to need multiples because I don't have time to not have enough. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. my one friend has a food truck. And every time, Lord, here come Erin. Every <laughs> time we go, we spend about $60. Yeah. And that's because on average, each thing is about $13 or $14. Mm -hmm. And I want a meal there and I want yeah. one, you know, for the next day so I don't got to worry about cooking because it's yeah. a food. 
So you're not going to, you're not going to get that every day. Mm -hmm. So I go when I go to expect to spend that because yes. this way I know what I'm getting. But mm -hmm. wouldn't you spend that at a regular restaurant anyway? So if exactly. I spend yeah. and we both get two meals, I mean, that's equivalent to what you yes. would spend at a regular restaurant. Mm -hmm. When you get what I like to use the word artisan, you know, when you yes. get artisan beverages. Yes, yes, you know yes. <laughs> How can you not expect to spend on that when you think about these people will pay for Starbucks and don't have a problem with a Starbucks going up? Yeah, exactly. They pay don't. for the drink. Yes, yes, exactly. So you got to work it. And that's what, what we've been doing. We, we've been working it. And we're going to get it in the bottles of this year as I go. Yes. And the move and execute. Because one thing you said, I don't remember this. You need your money work, working for you when you sleep. I'm yeah. saying it. You need your money working for you while you're sleeping. And mm -hmm. because when I wake up in the morning, I can see, okay, yeah, this person, yeah, oh, yeah, I can see the sales. And the um, one good thing, though, I'm going to change lanes to Lady E. Even though I didn't sell a lot of glasses over the weekend, I had 150 people visit my website, which okay. tells me, which tells me that out of the 150 people, I know some going to buy. They, you know, yeah. they were just coming to look. They're trying to look, get the, get the idea, concept. So I'm not worried about that because I know I'm in the eyewear business long term. You know, yeah. so that's, it's, it's long term. You know, it's not mm -hmm. quick. It's long term. Mm -hmm. And the number one commodity right now in fashion are, is, are glasses. That's the number yes. one commodity. So I'm just going to be honest. Out. Go ahead. Let me tell you something. Anybody that knows me and knows me for a long time knows I love some glasses. Yeah, I do. Sure do. And the only reason I didn't put none on tonight because I knew you was going to have yours on, so I wanted you to have your lady E moment, right? <laughs> but when I saw it, let me tell you something. I don't even get jealous or nothing like that because that's yes. not my nature. But I was like, damn, why didn't I do that? Like, <laughs> why would you? like, that was one of my things. I was like, oh, man. She beat me to the eyeglasses thing, right? And I was just like, Oh, but then, but then, like, look in the next second, I was like, "Yay!" Yeah, I think it's an important factor for us to be owners of brands and not just consumers. That's so right. I know you wear glasses. I wear yes. glasses. Too. I got my contacts in now. But what made you decide to go that route and to go into glasses? And yours do have prescription in them. That's correct. Well, now, yeah. now you purchase the glasses. They don't have the prescription in them. So you can take them to your optometrist and let them put the prescription. That's the part I didn't want to do. It was just a little, it was just a little too sticky. Cause I mean, like I've been people buy glasses from Maryland, from different states, so they can get the glasses and get them prescriptions put in. Where because because if you get them from from us, uh -huh. it might not. What, what the prescription is not like real like you want it. It may come. I mean, cause I've been to the eye doctor, but I'm you're not the optometrist. Like, yeah, yeah, so you're saying I'm not the optometrist. Look, let me get you these frames, and then you go take them where you need to. Exactly. Okay. Yes, okay. And yes, I didn't know. Yes. I thought that they came with the um, you know, the the yes. the frame, um, the the prescription in them. So now no. you get the frames from you, and then they go ahead and they that's, um. That's correct. Oh, and, the other, that's and, great. and the other caveat to this is that I can accept uh, the the flex spending account. So most jobs have a flex spending card. Yes. Or the FSA and the HSA. And so this weekend, I got a lot of people say, oh yeah, I didn't know I could use my FSA. I said, yeah, we take all that. So I Girl, can you're about those. to kill it before the end of the year. Because yeah. you know everybody trying to use their benefits. They got to use them for yeah, They got to use them yeah. for the end of the year. Yes. Oh. So I had a lot of people that came through uh, this weekend. So it's kind of funny. Uh, when I could no longer wear my contacts, uh -huh. I just started buying glasses. Yeah. And so I buy a pair of glasses here, buy a pair of glasses there. And so Jay Franklin, he's on here. I saw his name on thread. Mm -hmm. uh, I will buy glasses from him. And he said, have you ever thought about uh, doing your uh, own eyewear, eyewear line? I mm -hmm. said, no, I just like to buy. He said, well, think about it. Mm -hmm. So I thought about it. And I said, well, let me kind of do some research. I thought about it. He's like, yeah, Erica, it costs about this amount of money. I said, oh, that's not a lot of money to get started with. Mm -hmm. So I invested in Launchstone out there, and, and I did it, and and it was a great um, from that from the date of our launch, which was February, I can't remember the date, but it was in February. We had uh, fifteen thousand people have viewed it, the launch party for the glasses on that night. Wow, fifteen thousand people, yeah, because of his connections, because of the um, young lady Sarah who does the marketing for me. Their own communities. She's in a sorority. So they were sending out to all these people. Yeah. They were getting the word out. And so as a result of that, 
every pair of glasses I bought before I got with Jay Franklin, I would put Lady E on the side of them. So I would buy glasses and have Lady E put on it. So as he, he and I began to talk about it, I was like, you know, this would be a very interesting thing. I said, because I didn't know. So when he began to tell me about glasses, I was like, it's a lot in town with glasses. And he said, yes, yeah, a lot. It's, I mean, that's just really, you know, about people's the shape of your, your, the frame, mm-hmm. different colors, what people like, you know, because for a while I was into this very bland color. Well, when I got to doing these glasses, I said, oh, no, I got to get some, I, I got to get some bold colors. I got to give people options, um, mm-hmm. of different things that they, that they want to use. And so, um, we started that, and um, and I had to resort to glasses. And some of you may or may not know, I had a, I had two strokes, and the stroke affected my left eye. So I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, so I have no peripheral. So then I experienced I experienced dry eyes. So from as of that dog time, say, Eric, I'm so we got to go to glasses. And yeah, because those glasses. contacts will dry your eyes out. Like yes. I make sure I keep my little stuff yes. in my. Yes, little- I, I hated it because I had brought with sunglasses, so now I got sunglasses with prescription in them. I said, so I might, I might as well go ahead and just get all I did. And so we launched it with just a, a few different colors. Um, and if y'all seen the other day, I had I now I released a whole wooden eye line. Let oh. me tell y'all something, y'all. The wooden eye line is life. It's oh. so light. This is a pair of them. It's the pink, and it's the wood eye line, and they're made out of maple. And okay. um, Jay Franklin, the, um, the the individual who actually makes them and mm-hmm. um, who actually manufactures the glasses out, I chose the styles I liked. Okay. As a result of that, he, would, he did that from there. But it's been great working with him and the team. Um, and the one thing I realized is that in that book, I talk about leading some of the unit that you never led before. Mm-hmm. I did not know. So he said, Eric, if I had a lot of customers like you who listen, I said, because I don't know the eyewear business. So I'm going to follow your lead. You've been doing this for some time. Yeah. And he sold glasses from, from D.L. Hughley, Jonathan Slocum. The, so that, these people are wearing his eyewear. Yeah. And so um, I said, I'm going to follow whatever you tell me to do. I said, because I don't know nothing about what I'm doing. So mm-hmm. I laughed. I said, so if you tell me to do this, I'm going to do that. So yeah. I said, walk me through the process. He said, I just need more customers like you because I know they'll fall. I said, because I want this to be successful. And the one oh, thing he said yeah. to me, he said, Erica, most people think they're going to sell out the first month. Mm-hmm. And when they don't sell out, they get discouraged. He said, mm-hmm. you have to remember, this is a long-term investment. It is. It's not temporary. So I don't get discouraged if I had two sales this month. Mm-hmm. I've got to have two sales this month. Yeah. We'll keep going to the next month. So I realizing that I've got to be, I've got to keep consistent, keep putting my name out there, mm-hmm. keep getting things out there. And so I knew if we got this wooden eye line to go along with the other ones, it really was going to make a lot of difference. And yeah. so we've been really pushing that and really doing that. Um, we're currently at this moment, y'all, run a 50% off sale. Come on and give us a sale. Fifty percent off sale. Now the wooden eye line is two fifty. We marked it down to two twenty five because uh-huh. you can customize. You can get the front one color. You can get one side a different color. That side another color. You can get it engraved, and there's no additional cost. So oh. if you want to get all the different colors, you, you can get your classes. Your glasses with five different colors. Hey, that's what Ooh. you like. Go go with it. And I tell people, and, and you know, people are like, oh, that that's high. I said, well, let me ask you a question. When you go into a store and buy you a pair of shoes and you leave there with two or three pairs of shoes and they, they cost you $200, mm-hmm. you know, eventually shoes is going to wear out. Definitely. You, have, you got to go and replace them. But mm-hmm. glasses can be repaired and they can be worn much longer. For years. I, so for years. So when people say, oh, that's too high, that's too much money. I said, okay, I just realized you're not part of my customer base. Yeah. And if you're not part of my customer base, I know I'm not, um, I'm not really... Uh, on everybody's level to buy to buy eyewear because they feel like well that's not that's that's hot. Fine. If it's too hot for you, find you somewhere else. But yeah. let me tell you, but let me tell you what's been amazing. One of my friends um over the weekend, we went to high school together. Her and her husband own a up there uh he's an optometrist and she okay. works there in the office. And she said to me on the weekend she inboxed me, she said, Eric, I didn't know you had your line. So mm-hmm. now what she wants to do, Jay Franklin, I hope you listen. She wants my she wants my frames in their store. Come on. So she and wants you know, the frame. Yeah. But you know what? You 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 gotta. This is the thing. You already have the infrastructure set up. The, yes, you already yes. have stuff online. So you are not even yet. Let's just say today. Yes. In anybody else's store, just like 
Perry Ellis and all of the rest of them. So yes. one, then you can then expand and be in all kinds of places. I mean, yes. then that just extends it. And I would posit that more than likely, mm -hmm. you'd probably be one of the only African-American. I like to just say black, but you know, some people want you to be PC. Yes. Black woman-owned eyewear companies that's out there. So I think that, you know, yeah, I see that definitely because People pay all kinds of money for glasses. And they if you do. want quality with certain things, you you do need to pay for them. Now, for me, I am just, um, I want to sell the disposable, inexpensive type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It was $30 or something. Yes. But that's because me, I like to pop the lenses out. You know yes. what I'm saying? And I just want the frame. You know what I mean? Yes. I just... So yeah. that's why for me, like I know we have um one of my clients, um, red frame accessories. She sells like all of those types of glasses. Gotcha. And you know, just the trendy, fun, sparkly, mm -hmm. you know, yes. oversized, yes. like that kind of thing. And for me, that's my personality. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I could definitely see something like that in the future, but I am just happy that you have it now. And yes. I don't know, do you know how many other black women have eye care brands like yours? I I do not know. I know it's not a lot, but let me tell you this. On my research, I think I am the only black female pastor who has an eyewear line. There's no other female. So that's a whole nother audience of people. You know what, Jesus? So like there's no, I, I, we, we've searched. We can't find anybody that has theirs. So that's a whole nother audience I have yet to really kind of tap in. Yeah, yeah I haven't really tapped into that, into that arena yet. So that's a whole nother uh, verbiage. What I would really love to do, I don't know how it's going to work with this. I would okay. like to get with someone who's a designer in fashion uh -huh. with my glasses, and we do a, a, a conglomerate and see this thing just blow up. So oh, my God. Like that. That's why you I know who you need. You know who you need, girl, Jay Bowling, because he be about yes. the word. Yes, um, yes, you need yes. Jay Bowling. I'm just gonna put that in the air because yeah, I got I, you. He be about the word, he be about the fashion. If not him, who else could I see you with? Maybe Google. Okay, you know, okay. with Mary Mary Sisters. Um, yes, yes. definitely see her. Yes, I'm trying to think who else could I see. Oh, what's her name? Why is her name not coming to? I can see her clear as day. I cannot think of her name off the June Ambrose. June Ambrose. June Ambrose. Okay. Fashion. Just look up June Ambrose. Okay. June okay. is a June is a, a mood. You know what I'm saying? Like I got you. Yeah. You know, she <laughs> June be in the grocery store just be, just yeah. being just fabulous for no reason. Like, yeah, why are you in the grocery store giving it to the people like this? Like yes, June yes. Ambrose. I yes. can see something like that. But I mean, the first person that comes to my mind that's definitely in the realm of, you know, as far as religion goes, but then also has a very, um, you know, uh, trendy clientele that also yes. wants quality would be Jay Bolin. Yeah. He's definitely the first one that I could see. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Bolin. Yes. We gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And so I just, I love the eyewear. I mean, I didn't really, really realize how much I loved it. Mm -hmm. I got into it. Yeah, and it's just the, just just the um the look on people's faces and like all the all these different colors. So in two weeks, I am releasing or we're going to do a whole line for the D nine coalition. Hold up, so you want to? Yes, we're getting ready to do the D nine co uh, coalition. So I'm, Don't I'm make me come back. Yeah, I got a photo shoot in two weeks with with that group. And we're getting ready to just do uh so that it would drive those Did what? you need a super camera round? Because because uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, hey, we're trying to figure out. I, I, if I ain't got you, you could be in there. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm in the photo shoot, girl. Yeah. I'm in the camera row all day. Yeah. Let me go and get up I, I will. I will. We're gonna actually do it downtown. So we already. So I'm wait, waiting to get out my confirmation back for everybody. I don't reached out to. Um, yes. So, uh, yes, we're gonna do that. And that's going to be like one of those, I call it a boss move. And I told a young lady, the photographer, the young lady, I said, what I want to do, is I want to take pictures of us walking in beast mode. Like you talk to you watch us walk towards you and you yes. snap a picture. She's like, oh, yeah. I like that idea. I said, I want, I'll tell her all the things I want to do. She said, you need to be behind the camera. I said, no, I'm, I'm just telling you what I, what, what the effect the I want from, yeah, yeah, so you can see it. 
And so it's just been amazing. Um, Girl, let me go get my outfit together. Get let it, go get, get get it outfit. together. Yeah, get it together. You can get it together. Me the details, and I am there, man. I'm excited will. for that. Yeah, we um Jay Franklin and I are working on a big project. I can't talk about it right now, but it's one to change the game where I wear globally. So okay. yeah, so when I find somebody that I connect with, like with well, you a different and, uh, you I, I'm it's almost like a child. I'm gonna sit at your feet and listen to you what, what I want to learn from you. Cause I'm I'm like I'm like a sponge. You mm -hmm. give it, I gotta soak it. I have to process it. So you give it to mm -hmm. me, I gotta process it in my mind. Okay, yeah, this could work. I can see I can't see that working. And so um I think from that it just it sparked in there. Now I asked myself the question, was I always an entrepreneur, but I always worked for other people up until 2007. In uh -huh. 2007, I tell people I left my government job to do, yeah, to do other things. Uh -huh. and I, so when I left that to do other things, we got into mental health. Uh -huh. I realized that I like working for myself because it is so much easier to work for yourself. Yes. I don't have to worry about all the other stuff, you know. And we got staff with the mental health. We got staff. Yeah. We got staff. But you but have fact, staff working for you. At yes. The yes. Okay, that's, that's yes, the same thing. Yes. And so I don't have to. I don't have to. Uh, if I decide to get that twelve o'clock, I can do that. Y'all just make sure it's running. I tell the people if, if if they're not dead, if they're not severely injured, don't call me. Patch them up. You know. I, I'll call you. Yes. Yeah, so. You know, we, went, we, do, we I've done that and I've been very, um, but uh, the only thing that I think sometimes has gets me puzzled, why as African-American people, the first thing that come out of our mouth is, is too high, or maybe you need to come down on your price, or maybe you need to add this color. I told one lady on the weekend, I said, ma'am, this is the colors I currently have. We're gonna use these colors. Now you wanna get a pair of the wood ones, you can make them any color you want. She said, well, they're not 50% off. I said, no, ma'am, they're, they're $25 off. So you can get them for $225. And I said, mm -hmm. it's an investment. There's a warranty mm -hmm. with the glasses. I said, so we're, I'm not just somebody that just opened up an eye, eyewear company. And I, mm -hmm. we haven't got everything in order. So I asked all the questions. And then on top of that, the team that works with me, that does my posting, that, that manages the meets and social media, mm -hmm. I listen to them. I listen to mm -hmm. what they tell me. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, let's go this way. And I tell people, you might put a lot, a lot of money out on the front end. Yeah. You're gonna get it on, you're gonna get it back on the back end. So you, you gotta are. invest. You gotta you invest. Are. Yes. You are. And, and that is one thing that I can say that um I've learned. But I do think that sometimes people put out too much on the front end, not knowing the right thing to get, which yes. is why I am adamant about telling people, listen, even with me, come to the free classes. Yes. I can tell you a million things and I can tell you boop de boop de boop and how to do it. But I'm saying to you that you will get a lot of value in the free classes and then you can make better decisions by the time that it's time for you to pay me, you know? Yes. And so like, I just did a consultation with a lady and um, she was like, um, so this is what I want to do. And um, what I told her was, no, that's not what you want to do. Um, <laughs> and I had to tell her like that because yeah, she was trying to give everything away. That's mm. not how you run a business, man. No. And I'm like, we need this business from day one to be able to make money. Yes. Like, we're just not here just to be like, I'm open and just sit there and not try to make the money. Now, it yes. doesn't mean on day one you're going to make money, but it means you have the ability to do that, right? Yeah, that's right. And so you have to put things together. And so, you know, in certain things, I think people need to realize that they focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. And there are a lot of things that you can improve over time. Mm -hmm. You know, so like a lot of people will be like so into, oh my God, I got to make the website perfect. The website needs to be up and can it take money? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, you know, yes. I got to stretch my head with some things. Yes. It doesn't have to be completely perfect for you to be able to launch it. And we want to be such perfectionists that we won't do the things that we need to do oftentimes. And so, you know, my mindset has been able to shift and just change because COVID really taught me that I need to help people make money as fast as possible. Yes. And sometimes as fast as possible, you still have a great product and you still yeah. have a great service. Mm -hmm. So all of that's there, but can we get to the money? 
Is yes. there a link for me to buy it? That's the yes. main thing now, right? And then we can work on the pretty stuff and all of the rest of that. You know what I'm saying? So when people are kind of looking into it, what you're saying is do your research, yes. make sure you know what you need to do and then start. But guess what? You can add on another line. You can put in more colors. Yes. You can do the new photo shoot. You yes. can then add on the secret project that she's not trying to tell us about, right? You yes, can, yes. <laughs> you can do all of those make, things. Make yeah. mm-hmm. No, yeah. but you can do all of those things because you had to start somewhere, right? You start somewhere. That's yeah. Right. And we actually started this process, believe it or not, in October of 2020, because there were a lot of parts to this. So it's yeah. a lot, it's a lot of parts to that. And I didn't realize first I had I had to narrow down what kind of glasses I wanted. Yeah. What 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 did I what input do I want on my website? So we had talked, we we met weekly. They mm-hmm. walked me through the process because I had like I said, I never done this before. Yeah, so I had to really listen. We're going, to, we're going to give you this information. You process it and then get back with us. So I was able to process it and say, I want this lap, this pair, that pair, this pair. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to make sure that, that they were unisex, that they could mm-hmm. be more by men and women, so, which is important. Yeah, which yeah. is important. And I want me, and I wanted to make sure that that I gave them a versatile of glasses. Mm-hmm. Um, and now Saturday, I didn't realize this. So James, if you listen, um, I don't have just one all black pair of glasses. I have black and a gold, you know, like orange, but not all black. So one yeah. glass, I just want all black pair. Didn't think yeah. about that. It's a safe one. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But it's one of those ones, okay, well, we can think about adding just a pair of black glasses, but I didn't think about that. Um, mm-hmm. So I tell people, my favorite color is yellow and green. They're my, and my favorite colors. Yeah. I love yellow. yeah. So mm-hmm. I love, the, most of everything I got is green. And so I love the green, the green glasses. I have a pair of wooden green glasses. Mm-hmm. And so I think that if people, you do what you love. That's the thing. If you love what you do and you do what you love, then you can see yourself prospering in it. I just think that people Come on. get so caught up on, the people tell you, oh, you can't do this. Oh, why can I not do it? We get caught up on that. Well, I don't see you making money for that. Well, I see myself making money. You're like, I mean, okay, that may be your. That <laughs> may be your to the side real yeah. hard. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. That may be your concept, but I see, I see way past where I am. You know, I I, I can't get stuck right now where I'm. I gotta see way on down the road because mm-hmm. I don't want to work forever. I want to be able to enjoy my latter years and be good, and I can sell glasses, and I walk even in my sleep. I'm working because you go to my website, all your glasses, and it's going to send me a text that you purchase a pair of glasses and then we'll ship them out. Uh-huh. And then we'll get so, so, so that made it so convenient for me that I don't have to do all this. I go to my computer, get a label, it puts off the, the packaging label. I slap it on the box and take it to the post office. So it's just, uh-huh. it's just that easy for me. They uh-huh. set it up. So we did some research, we did some things. And the good thing about it, they have worked with other people. So they yeah. already knew some of the glitches. Like, yeah, so we tried this before. We we'll tried it this time because yeah. it didn't work for the other person. Yeah. Um, like, like we try to do UPS. UPS was just not working with us. Mm-hmm. But we went to um, our friend Helene. She had a person that she that she worked with was shipping. We went uh-huh. to that particular company. I had it still to the post office, but it was great. It was it was a user friendly site. Let me put it like that. The so people yeah. want things that they don't. If they have to go through too many steps, they're not going. They're, they're not going to do it. So I yeah. did something simple and easy that I could do, and the other other person can do as well. And uh-huh. so um, it has been just an uh, amazing journey. I'm loving it. Um, and I love that. I love to expand it and to do more stuff. No, I see all of the great things. And I think that, um, you know, sometimes we will reach out into territories that it's like, well, why didn't somebody do that before? Yes. And I think a lot of it is people not wanting to ask questions, people not wanting to ask for help people thinking that they could just do it their way and they don't need any anybody else exactly. because what i've seen is the person will get the information and then try to cut out the person that gave them the information and not realize that that person that gave you the information already knew more than you because they gave you the information okay exactly. i mean you know, I, I just got to break it down like that so people will understand yes. and so the biggest thing is 
I, I feel like in your industry, why don't we see more of that? You know what I'm saying? Like we should see more people because I mean, I don't know the stats, but I know I've worn glasses since I was a kid. Yeah. So, you know, why haven't we seen more black women or men, you know, building these types of companies? And I think sometimes, you know, let's just say this. If you build a business off of things that people need, it's a necessity. It's yes. not a question about that. Yes. They will always need to come back to you at some point in time. That's so right. the necessity is there because I need glasses. Okay, so I could go somewhere else, but you know, what if it is a little bit more? Then you spend with the person that you know, you spend with the face that looks like yours. That's what happens a lot of times. So exactly. if we a little bit more of that, we'd have a lot more community inside of what we do. So mm -hmm. what do you want people to know um, just going forward about your business. Anything you want them to know? Yeah, I do. One of the things uh, I posted something the other day and I, I want to I wanna reframe it or rephrase it. Um, that you cannot take someone else's blueprint if you don't know how they got to that point. So don't be a copycat. Be in your authentic, true self. And you said it so perfect. People take every day, I can give you a thought or a concept, but you don't have all the sense in it. And you can take my one concept and run with it. It's not going to work out because you don't know all the necessary components that I come with the concept. So yeah, you can take my idea, but it's not going to work out. So be your authentic self. Go with your gut instinct. You know, if you think this is an area you want to do, do your research. Do your research. Find out here how many people are doing what you're doing and what has made them successful. What are they doing? Who do you need to connect with? Like I already know, I need to connect with somebody in the entertainment business. Somebody mm -hmm. in fashion. I know, so that's where I'm gearing right now to connect with people in those industries because that is a, this is an accessory for fashion eyewear. So mm -hmm. people are going to buy eyewear. And mm -hmm. so um, you got to know where you want to go and the other thing is if you don't know find somebody that does and ask for help mm -hmm. help is not going to kill you for you to ask for help I'm telling you your brain is going to expand when you ask for help it is. the other person that you ask for help is going to be able to make you see things you can see before and that's what you've done for us you helped us to see something that we didn't see right then at the present moment but it opened our eyes up to much bigger things. And then we were able to add on and to do other stuff. And I want to say this for the Black community. We have got to support each other. Can I tell you both of the individuals, the two eye shops that want my glasses, they are not African-American. They're, they're Caucasian. They're friends I went to high school with. They both are autometrists. So they have reached out to me. And they want to do wholesale in their store. So they'll buy the glasses for me and sell them in their store. So I'm saying to us, we've got to support each other. We yes. need to step by game up and support each other. That's the mm. only way that we're going to make it in the in our community. It Not is. Each other down, but be a voice. Uh, uh, be a positive voice. Let me put it like that. Be a positive voice. Because there's some things about, I'm pretty sure some people have uh, given you a feedback. Well, I didn't like such and such. Okay, I didn't like such Okay. And and you take it as a learn as a learned lesson. Mm -hmm. You take it and you just take it as information and move on. You know, you kind of know when they want to help you when they really don't want to help you. Yeah. Um, so I realize that. And so just listen, don't ask for help, and don't be afraid to launch out there in the unknown. Because once you get out there, somebody's gonna help you. They're gonna you're gonna bring some other people along with you and create a team of people that you can bounce ideas off. Mm -hmm. You gotta have somebody they don't want they won't steal your idea. You can bounce ideas off. They can help you, help you through the situation, pray mm -hmm. you through, talk you through off the ledge because you want to give up. Whatever that is, you got to mm -hmm. make sure that you got people around you that that you can glean from. It's a village. It's a village. And, you know, that's the thing that I, I think is important is that we can do a lot by ourselves. But in order for us to really grow, we have to have a team. And that's why it's just like, you know, I got my team, my new hairdresser, honey. She's just like, where you want to go, what you want to do? She was just right. like, I've seen. And I'm just like, 
let me tell you something. I I love it. You know what I'm saying? And I told her, I said, listen, my plan, I'm going to move overseas. And then I'm going to have you come do my hair once a month. I'm going to just fly you out, you and your husband. You come do my hair, then you go back to the States because I ain't going to yeah. be here with Americans. Yeah. Right? So it's like you can see the vision. And I think people can see the vision with you. Yes, yes. Um, you know, but let me say this about feedback before we get off. Feedback is great. But don't get so disheartened by certain feedback because you don't know what that person is doing and or going through or even sometimes trying to make you feel like when they give you feedback. Yes. I have this thing where they, I did a class. So the lady sends me the reviews after the class. Every review is like excellent, great, da, da, da. I get one review where it says that the instructor was in A. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. I'm thinking, who in the hell is giving me a <laughs> <laughs> You know, because I'm sitting on my phone, so it's real little. Yeah. I was like, what is going on with this internet? Girl, I go to the computer. I was like, honey, I got to open the computer. Go to the computer, open it up, right? This person didn't even attend the seminar. They talking about they didn't come to the seminar. They missed it. Why are you giving me an N.A.? Because you missed the seminar. Exactly. Oh, now. Oh, so it yeah. was like, and it wasn't like, it was like, was the instructor, um, da, 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 and I'm just like, okay, I understood it after that, but dude, you didn't even come to the seminar. Why did you fill out a review yes. for something you didn't even come to? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, some feedback is poppycock, okay? Some feedback yes. is again, again, yes, yes. but I think that if we listen to the feedback that people have and then we can make those improvements. You know what I'm saying? That's how Wow What a Drink is growing. That's how yes. Lady FX is going to grow because we listen. And that's how our businesses grow when we listen and then we take action also. Yes, so. yes, yes, oh, yes. Girl. All right. So tell them where they can find you online. Okay. So you can find me at LadyEspects.com on IG. I'm Lady underscore Espects. On uh, Facebook, I'm Lady Capital E underscore Specs. So you can find me on those different platforms. You can find me personally on I am Dr. Erica Hendricks on IG and then Erica H. Hendricks. I had to start a new uh, public figure page because my personal page is I, I, I reached the max of 5,000. You too, so popular. Yeah. So now I'm on my, so my, my second page. Go to that page, y'all. Erica H. Hendricks. I'm in green. That's mm -hmm. my new public figure page that you can go to because I've reached my maximum other my personal page. Don't and be on so, here like that. You better stun on us, girl. I, yeah. <laughs> I've reached my limit. Yeah, no I've reached my limit. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I didn't know there was a limit, though. I really did. 5,000. Yeah, I have reached yeah. it, and then I deleted a whole bunch of people. Yes. So. I, yeah. I, just did, I didn't know it was limit. I was just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you don't reach your limit. And so because I'm going in a whole different direction with my ministry, I need to I needed to sort of you need to yeah, I yeah. Need a, a whole other different type of page. So that's where you can find me. Um and look me up on like I said, ladyespects.com. Um go on there and all my contact information, the email, everything else is on there. Yeah. Reach out to me and um I hope to see some of y'all on this feed. Go to my website because the 50% sale is August the 31st. So okay. all acetate frames, 50% off. Wooden frames are $25 off. So if you want to get in on the sale, come on because you got to August the 31st. We're trying to get rid of some of the inventory so I can bring some new stuff in that I want to bring out. But I want yeah. to be able to get the, the inventory I have sold. So tell your mama, your enemy, your neighbor, anybody, we have yeah. a sale. <laughs> and it's the end of August 31st. <laughs> she said, tell your mama, your enemy. I've yeah, never tell them, tell them. Yes, Girl, I'm about to start using that girl. Tell your enemy. <laughs> tell them all. I don't care who they are. Send them a text or email, anything. Tag them in the post. <laughs> yes, definitely do all of that. All right. Well, Erica, thank you so thank much for you. tonight. It's been wonderful. It has. I've learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know. And I think that the things that you said were definitely inspiring for people who are either trying to be entrepreneurs, um, who don't know if they want to be entrepreneurs, yes. some people that are already established. I think that it's really good stuff and good advice for everybody. So everybody yes. Watching once this is over, we put it inside of our Instagram um, stories. It'll be on Instagram TV, and then we post it again later on on our YouTube channel. So um, this episode will come out in September on our YouTube channel, just FYI. And okay. so we do premieres on YouTube every Friday. So Wednesdays we are over here on IG, and then um, 
Then on Fridays is when we go over and we post the things on to um, YouTube. And okay. let me tell everybody now too, um, we are probably going to shift once September gets here and start doing all of our live streams on YouTube. And okay. that is a monetary decision. YouTube is trying to get these folks money. The folks over here, they want money. So if we have more views, if we have more subscribers, it's an automatic thing over there. So yes. um, as much as I love Instagram, and Instagram is doing some things to incentivize people too, but it's just not going to be as easy, in my opinion, as being on YouTube. So once we get to September, we're going to shift everything over on Wednesdays to um, to the good old YouTube. All right? So yes, yes. make sure, guess what? That you always show up and show out yes, and that you... You give it to the people. All right. Bye guys. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for listening to Give It to the People Radio. Make sure that you follow us online at ladybusiness.com, L-A-D-Y-B-I-Z-N-E-S-S. We look forward to helping you grow, sustain, and maintain your business.